Hello again, it's uh, Joey John McGuire. I'm in the um, Plough and Harrow, one of my favourite Weatherspoons pubs in uh, Hammersmith. Uh, it's Christmas Eve and uh, Merry Christmas to anyone who uh, believes in all that sort of thing. Anyway, this is my latest poem. I wrote uh, the early hours of this morning, Christmas Eve. It's called The New Testament. You kind of get the feeling, don't you, that with the whole planet in turmoil, states falling like skittles being trashed, opinions in the hands of the educated poor, people power taken to the streets, riots, earthquakes, wind and fire, that something really big is rumbling beneath the surface and about to happen. So hang on tightly to your safety net, for the world's about to change. Man has killed man throughout the ages. Women and children have not been excluded, mostly in the name of God, whoever that may be, certainly not in mine. Not forgetting the power of human greed and the strength power can emulate. Everybody wants to be rich, is looking for their little piece of action, wants an oil well or gold mine or fame. But everybody wants a piece of something, and anything will do, even if it's only an opinion, a cause for which they'll gladly die. Progress has brought change, shrunk the world. East is west, and the hemispheres have met, and like the Big Bang, the Internet has delivered the New Testament. Darwin showed us the way. The human genome is unraveled, and the gods and governments have lost control. The people are angry. Earth's children, the shoots of humanity, are riled the world over, and they anxiously await, crave the revolution that will sever the humili humiliating chains of bondage to give them freedom from the slavery of control. It's the day before Christmas, Christmas Eve, I, for one, will not be celebrating as I do Darwin. The world has had enough lies since its birth. The streets fall into silent anticipation, with those honest enough to admit, secretly hoping the charade will soon be over. The children know no better. It's the adults that perpetuate the lie. For fear of what? However, December is a dark month. So hence the lie is easily accepted. Breathing space will be found, and if only for a while our hands and hearts will join in peace. The new year, along with hope, will bring new eruptions where many innocents will die, women and children included. But be sure, the world is changing, and some day, hopefully soon, we'll all be one with all the countries gone.